It is your boy, Polly C, <laughs> coming at you with another episode of Carpet Cleaning Guys Vlogs. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and today, check it out, I flipped the handle over backwards. I saw the manufacturer of the Topps Odyssey do this in a previous video. He turned the wheels down machine into a wheels up machine. I wanted to give it a shot. The wheels up above the machine give it more weight. I needed to use that today on this really bad hallway that I was working on. So I went ahead and gave it a shot. This machine, the Orbot Vibe, it does have an area you can see down there where you can add weights or a weight kit. I do not, excuse me, do not have the weight kit. So I was unable to do, to do that. Oh, got the hiccups. There's that hallway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh, my carpet cleaning friends that are actual carpet cleaners. What do you think when you see that? My word. And I got soil all throughout. This is a medium pile frise carpet. Believe it or not, the carpet is a off white carpet. It's hard to tell through the camera lens as usual. But I'll do my best to post some pictures here and show you the after results at the end. I am using a different grooming brush today as well. Uh, years ago, I used to use this thing called a Renovator. It's a dual-sided brush. It's got a less aggressive side and a more aggressive side. Light blue, less aggressive. Dark blue, more aggressive. You just rotate the brush. I switched the handle out to my four foot to eight foot extendable painter's pole that I obtained from Home Depot. So if you want a pole like that, your local hardware store probably has a painter's pole. Again, I'll show you a picture of that as well. You can see these cotton pads have absorbed a ton of soil as well as the Mighty Scrubbing Strips microfiber pad. I used just one of those through all the traffic areas. I could have pre-scrubbed with my new Renovator brush on the darker blue aggressive side and avoided using a whole nother pad. And I'll show you that uh, Renovator right now. Again, I got it on Amazon. It's nice because it has those wheels. You see how they're positioned about an inch in on each side and the brush hangs over the edge. This allows you to actually get along the wall boards as well, which is really, really handy. And I do need to peel that tape off the bottom of the pole there. I had that when I was using my deck brush because the pole wouldn't stay on. But on this job, I switched it over real quick because I like the eight foot extension. It just gives me more leverage. I can put the pull up high and just put those triangles down very easy. Again, it's an extension painter's pole, four foot to eight foot. If you're interested in getting one, I think they're at Home Depot or probably at your local hardware store as well. So there you go. I'm going to finish this lower level today. I didn't do video. I just took some snapshots today as I was kind of busy uh, throughout the day. And I says, ah, I'll definitely get some pictures. I need them for the landlord anyway. And I'll focus on the before and the afters so that I have those at the end. I think I show a collage of some of the after photos that's what I do. I use that pic collage app and I'll send a few photos of the after. Sometimes I'll do a pic collage of the before or I'll combine them, maybe two or three before and two or three afters. Depends what kind of mood I'm in, but at least they get some photos. This gives me an opportunity to talk with you guys and gals, my YouTube family. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Wait till you see this hallway. Look at this is already cleaned up so much, so much better. And the hallway, oh my gosh, I'm speechless. Definitely, definitely came out to my satisfaction. 
I'll end it with my little after photos in that picture collage. And if there's any videos or suggestions or things you'd like to see this upcoming year, 2022, uh, be sure and put that down in the comments. I always try to read through my comments. That would help me with some ideas for new videos for 2022.